Power outages have wrought havoc for the South African economy, for both households and businesses, of course. Uh, to find out uh, what their perspective is, I'm joined by Hanki Matabane. He's the CEO of the Black Business Council. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Of course, a huge inconvenience and ESCOM really telling us that we can expect this to continue for the balance of the year. How is this impacting on your members? Uh, good good uh, afternoon to and uh, to, uh, to the viewers as well. The the impact is is is, is huge, and uh, you may have seen it. For example, with the GDP figures that were were, were released by State SA a, a last week or a week ago, the, the 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 biggest biggest contributor to our gross domestic product declining is is uh, electricity problem. This is the the inability of ESCOM to provide reliable electricity. So, so uh, ESCOM on its own, by the, the way it does things, they, they are introducing what is called policy uncertainty because uh, people who are supposed to invest in South Africa, they can't. Uh, so coming back to, to, to small businesses, they, they, the small businesses are, and businesses owned by young people, for example, they, 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 are, they are extremely struggling because they, 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 they are not big enough to have additional resources to afford a, a, a alternative energy like generators and, and, and solar and, and such. So they, they are, they are str struggling. They're going to continue to struggle because there's no way they're going to be able to, to, to afford that because most of them are still struggling from recovering from COVID. Uh, they, 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 they've retrenched a lot of people. They can't even afford uh, to to be borrowed money by by the financial institutions because most of them are indebted yes. and their credit records are not good because of of COVID. Mr. Matabani, we did hear from the president about announcement an announcement to help assist SMEs who have been struggling as a result of what's happened in the past with COVID-19, uh, the floods and even the unrest and so on. Uh, to what extent are your members telling you that they're able to tap on to this support to help them get over the line? When we look at the what you can call it, the so-called support, they, they are not necessarily supporting because they, 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 the requirements are exactly the same as the requirements for anyone who works into any financial institution. So they, 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 they have not decided or determined specific requirements for people who have suffered from COVID. So, so, so members are not even, most of them are not even attempting because those, those who have attempted to access those funds ha have not succeeded. Uh, and, and then the other issue that I uh, wanted to, 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 to talk to is what, what the, the president announced regarding the energy plan or to the, the plan to solve the energy problem. We, 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 we've indicated to the president that the, we need to solve the current problem of ESCOM. We, ESCOM has got enough capacity to, to give us electricity uh, without fail. Uh, but, but the current uh, power stations are, 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 are not properly maintained. If, if you've listened to ESCOM today, they tell you that they, they, they do maintenance today, tomorrow, the very same thing that has been maintained uh, 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 is not working. So imagine if you have, if you've got a car, you maintain it, and then you drive it to Cape Town, it doesn't reach Cape Town. So the, the, there's a problem with the with the ESCOM itself. And, and as we've been calling for ESCOM CEO, uh, ESCOM executive and ESCOM support to lead, because They've got no clue of what they're doing. You can't you can't have maintenance pro program. Uh, you maintain the power station this week. Next week, the very same power station that we maintained last week is off. It, it it shows the problem is also internal. There's a problem of of uh, incapacity uh, regarding uh, in, as far as the leadership of ESCOM is concerned. Yeah. So in the interim, given what you say, and given that things are clearly not working, and the energy interventions are going to take longer than we would like. What is it that you guys are brainstorming at the BBC, at the B, uh, BBC and other, uh, you know, business organisations about how to deal with the situation in the interim? Because the reality is that the the service providers we wish to provide us with a service can't really do it optimally. We, we've provided a list of uh, engineers to 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 the minister, and the the minister has informed us that they sent that, that list to ESCOM. But they, we, have, we have not had anything from 
from ESCOM because the, the, the people that we've, we've uh, sent to, to ESCOM are experienced black engineers who, who've worked in the power station, so they, they will know what the problems are and they'll be able to solve those problems. So we, we, we did uh, our part and uh, we're waiting for ESCOM to, to, to the minister to tell us mm -hmm. what is the next step. Yeah. Uh, because those people are ready, they're available, uh, but they haven't had anything from, 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 from ESCOM. So it looks like there's no, again, there's no intention to solve the problem. Uh, and maybe maybe that there are other intentions to, 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 to get ESCOM to malfunction so that they can sell it at a cheaper price somewhere else. But uh, we just want electricity to be provided. Uh, the people who are working for ESCOM should be able to give us electricity. If they don't, they, they shouldn't be there. Yeah. Of course, of course, we all want to be provided with electricity. Uh, Mr. Ndate Hanki Matabane, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, he's the CEO of the Black Business Council.